Scorpio. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on, life of a scorpion between the middle of May? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this place of accepting new love, making decisions around being vulnerable, as well as being receptive to all your damn blessings? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boy, if this first time you're on my channel, I'm Oka. Also, if this first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube. Also, thank you guys. In advance, for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, I truly appreciate it, you guys. It makes my heart smile. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We might cry. You know, we definitely gonna cuss. But we don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Here, we love, we grow, we share, we enlighten. Posy vibes only, okay? Returning family members, what's popping? I hope that life is treating you swell and well. As well, you guys, this is a general reading. It's not personal, so it's going to resonate with some, not everybody. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try to put it on, or what's going to happen? Ding! Your ass going to fall. Don't fucking try to make the shoe fit, all right? Therefore, this will be for my sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus, Scorpios, for mid-month May 2019. So y'all know how I get down. We're going to start with your intuitive messages first. Mid-month May for Scorpio. What I got for you guys was time sensitive, trust issues, pride, lies revealed, life purpose, transportation, karma, love life, reflection, Sneaky behavior, take a chance, revelations, custody, manipulation, it's safe, career, character, court system, mental illness, plot twist, spiritually protected, release worries, financial windfalls, travel, and fraud. Okay? Ooh, Scorpio. So that was very, 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 very interesting. Um, I felt also an energy of it's 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 kind of like moving forward, but it was a sense of looking over my like just look over your shoulders, honey. Like somebody looking over their shoulders. Now I don't know if this is pertaining to love because I didn't feel more so a love aspect. I felt more of a a guilty conscious aspect. But also, your intuition actually may give, be giving you hinges because, Scorpio, I definitely felt a strong energy of someone watching. So, I don't know if this is you watching another person or someone's watching you. But it, it, it's an energy that feels not really malice, but definitely green with envy. Okay? So, the overall energy around you guys is reading is the Nine of Hearts. So, during this time, a lot of you guys are going to be manifesting at a fast rate, okay? And this could be about just you being fulfilled, you actually being um, in a place of you being able to receive what it is that your heart's desiring, y'all. <clears throat> okay? So, your first angel message for the month comes from Archangel Michael. Remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Okay, so some of you guys are really needing to speak your truth during this time here with this damn sword being down. Okay, I feel like some of you guys are really needing to actively use your um your throat chakra during this time. I feel like some of you guys need to know that you are divinely guided, you are spiritually protected. Some of you guys are being shown the way in which like the way forward as far as your journey. And I feel like for some of you all, this could have to do with some type of archangel assistance. But during this time, your spirit guides want you to want you to know that it, it is safe to call upon them and for you not to sit in worry and sit in this place of well, I'm not going to do that, or I'm going to show a motherfucker. This is not the time to show a motherfucker, not eat motherfucker thing, okay? This is the time to be humble, all right? And for some of you all, this is about your own confidence, you trusting within you. Some of you all have a very huge purpose, but I feel like there is some type of sacral chakra 
Um, for some of y'all can, yeah, some some of you guys can also experience some type of shift within the sacral chakra for a positive. So I definitely feel like for those of you who've had these, these great ideas, maybe you have like double fixed energy in your chart, like Scorpio Aquarius, Scorpio Taurus, uh, Scorpio Leo. I feel like Spirit is saying, um, Scorpio, I love those ideas. I love those ideas. Now, how are we going to push them? How are we going to how are we gonna hit the gas on these motherfuckers? How are we actually going to uh, proceed as far as momentum? Have you even thought about that part? What have you done? Go outside of. You cannot expect something, okay? Something that you have not had if you're not willing to do something different in order to get there. You know. So the next cycle. Um, next cycle. <clears throat> Ain't that something? Okay, I am here in menstrual. I said cycle for a minute. I mean, for a, oh goodness, y'all, it is four o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. I couldn't sleep worth the damn. I said, let me get up and record my scorpions. Y'all moon is on my ass. Okay. Um, some of you guys actually may have some type of shifting within your menstrual cycle. So some of you all may be feeling as if you have, you're going through some type of like fertility issue or something to that extent. But I definitely feel like there could be something, some type of shifting in your menstrual. Some of y'all may actually have two periods within the month of May. Okay. So some, so if you've already had your cycle, some of y'all could also be having another another um menstrual around this full moon okay or something off it could be happening with your menstrual for some of you all i'm hearing late for some of you all i'm hearing um two times okay so some of y'all could be having a cycle two times or you're going normally the flow of your cycle is longer than um your normal flow okay so the next message that you guys got was moon cycles i just say your moon on my ice okay archangel haniel Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize on these cycles, okay? This is strongly okay with that Uranus transiting as well as Saturn. Saturn is the karmic teacher, so it's about Scorpio. Okay, I'm coming to coming to check the fuck in. What have you done? Around these moon cycles, again, just know that you are protected. Whatever information that you guys are receiving from spirit, some of you have a responsibility during this time to share it. You're being used as a vessel, as a source, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, you have some type of angelic backing in order to do so. But there's going to be some type of something that you receive. This could also be in some form of dream form. This could be in the form of premonition. Some of you all... Um, some of y'all are really going to be very in tune with your feminine energy, so your intuition is going to be extremely, extremely sharp and extremely heightened. You guys already have badass intuition. I'm talking about on the money, but during this time, follow your niches, follow those hunches, follow those gut feelings that you have. I don't give a damn if it's as simple as don't go to the damn restroom on the right wing, because you might not know. Rhonda might have fuck, tow that motherfucker up on her lunch break because she, eat, she ate a burrito. And you know how Rhonda get when she eat them damn burritos, gas everywhere. Okay, so you may you may have followed your you know followed your little niche to go to the left. You ain't even know run the ass was over there, but something told you. Okay, I mean my ex boyfriend used to call me crazy. What told your crazy ass? Mom? Something told me. Okay, trust something. Something ain't leading you wrong. Something is spirit. Spirit don't lie. People do. All right, let's roll. Some of you all are, um, spirit is needing you to know. Some of y'all may be finding white feathers on your path to assure you that you're going down the right path. And some of you all, you may be covered by different types of white winged animals. So this could be, um, I don't know if you guys cross watch Gemini or Sagittarius, but I had a damn moth. One of my ancestors decided they wanted to come and post up the white moth. And so when I looked it up, first off, I found out that it's a whole bunch of different type of moths. How about that shit? That happened to be an emperor's moth. And ha, how about it? I'm the mother. Emperor, so you know, I took that and I just it was just very, it was a very grateful and appreciative moment. I was very all oh, feminine like, you know. So, y'all moon didn't come to play play, all right. I feel like there is an energy of justice, and for some of y'all, y'all gonna be the motherfucking sword. Speak up, Scorpio, okay. The last message that you guys got was courage. Some of y'all with this line in the back, and I never pay attention to this, some of y'all could literally be having to speak up. Or speak out to possibly a Leo, okay? Or this could be some type of authoritative figure or someone who you feel has some type of, or someone who has some type of like leadership over you, okay? This could be a boss, all right? Or a boss's boss. If you anything like me, Mocha don't get it. It's hard for me to work in corporate America. 
Because I don't get into it with the employees. In fact, I'm quiet as shit. I prefer not to talk to nobody, but that never happens. Everybody loves me because they think I'm funny and shit. But I get into it with HR, the director of the company, the CEO, because I just ask simple questions. It's not my fault that everybody else laughs. Damn it, I needed to know. This affects my paycheck. And if it's going to affect my pay, I'm not the person who going to wait till we start to say, how much do we get paid? I'm going to ask your ass that on interview day. I don't, I don't care how offended that you are because I'm somebody's mama and time and peace is expensive. And I understand I can't buy it from nowhere. So I'm very, very, very responsible on how do I just hand that shit out. Who got time for that? And I felt like I just shared that spiel for a reason. Not only because y'all my family. But someone is needing to speak up. Know thy worth in every area of your life. Remember who the fuck you are, score. You understand, water baby? I ain't come to play with you. And you can borrow my motherfucking belt. You understand? So you guys got courage. Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Again, this goes with I feel like worth, okay? I definitely feel like some of y'all could also, especially I'm here in temp agencies, so some of y'all could work for a temp agency, and some of you guys could be finding out that they're paying the agency a specific amount of money, and some of y'all actually have the degrees behind what it is that you're trying to do, and this is for those of you who are literally being led by spirit, led by spirit, your angels, your ancestors on your head during this time for you to move, for you to branch off following your creative as you're pretty much for some of y'all your creative <clears throat> ventures has also to do with your life path and your life purpose is you actually having to find find the way to mend them that allows that healthy balance between the positive and the negative as well as the mat or you could say the masculine and the feminine aspects of self it's a time for y'all to truly, truly, truly embrace the feminine energy, stress yourself on everything in which you feel, but speak up for your fucking self. You know how Scorpios, you guys have a very mysterious energy. There's this energy of, you know, off the rip. Don't let the left hand know what the right one doing. But during this time, you got to understand, y'all psychic. Everybody else ain't fucking psychic. They, they can't read your mind. You can't expect for people just to know. Spirit is saying if you're tired of the same shit, and you expect and you know that you deserve something different. Move different and fucking accordingly and speak up for yourself. People, situations, job, circumstances are only going to move in your life the way you allow them to. If you check that shit at the door, motherfuckers already know. For sure. Okay, let's get it. So, Spirit, what's going on with my Scorpio, Summer Rising, Venus, Aquarius, the Cross Watchers, and Love? What can my baby expect in love? Scorpio, Summer Rising, Venus, Aquarius, the Cross Watchers. Spirit. Can they expect in love? Did my thing. Okay. Scorpio, expect in love. Okay. So, this is about divine time, and some of you guys are dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, okay? I definitely feel like some of you guys, you're done waiting on somebody to equally to equally love you or to love you with the expectation that, you, pretty much with the regard that you hold for yourself. Some of y'all is going to show a motherfucker, going to lead by example during this time. And some of you are, you're finding that balance within the self to pour that love within your own damn cup. Don't rely on people. Good, good shit, Scorpio. Don't rely on people with the bullshit. Yeah. Some of you guys could also be possibly reunited with the Sagittarius, okay? I definitely feel like some of you guys could have uh, taken a break from this situation. Some of y'all could also... <laughs> some of y'all could also work with your soulmate. Or you may be trying to help this person get a job during this time, okay? And some of you guys are... Patiently waiting for things to move forward, maybe because someone has some type of financial issue during this time. But I'm definitely feeling some of you guys are working it out with the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I definitely feel like there's a lot of love with this person, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all loving on a damn Pisces or a Cancer during this time. And some of you guys have a water sign, or this could be you, Scorpio, okay? That could be watching or um, like peeking on somebody else's social media. Peeking in on their content. Some of y'all, this could have to do with the child, especially if you have air, if you have children with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
And some of y'all just got a childish ass air sign who's in love with you, baby. But I feel like this person has kind of been waiting on you to move forward and make the first move. And some of y'all, this person then got tired of waiting. They finna come and they watching you to know how to approach you during this time, okay? Some of y'all, yeah, buddy. Some of you all, while watching another person's social media account or going to go check the checker, some of y'all are actually going to possibly discover some type of truth and clarity that you need regarding possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you all, this person is wanting to come in within divine timing, but this this ain't really been divine timing, okay? Some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius that been stalking you. This person just didn't really, I feel like there's a there needed to be an ego death, like there have been pride issues that have been actually preventing the situation from moving forward, but I definitely feel like some of y'all wanting to come in and express your love and be vulnerable towards a fire sign, but I definitely feel like there's an internal conflict about it because someone, either you could be, oh yeah, some of y'all want to express your love to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you're internally conflicted because for some of you all, there's some type of recognition, like realization that this person is a soulmate. And some of you guys, there is, I'm getting external, okay? I'm hearing external. So some of you guys could have a soulmate that you're in love with, but some, either you or this person have someone that's younger, a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's coming in to stir the damn pot. And I feel like, there was some type of truth. Uh, there was some type of truth found out about this person, which could which could have started a damn uproar if you're dealing with a fire sign or an air sign. For some of you all, you want to come in and express your love to someone. However, you internally conflicted, and I'm hearing pride. But for some of you all, you possibly had some type of realization during this last moon cycle that either someone was a twin flame or a soulmate. I'm also hearing false twin. Some of y'all could be finding out that the person who you thought was your twin flame is not. It's actually someone who you least expected. But I definitely see you guys on the brink of a new beginning, okay? There is some type of new start in love, possibly with a water sign. Whatever it is, it's infinite, baby, okay? And for some of you all, this person, either you or this, either you or another person have been waiting on the right damn time to move forward and express love to the other but I feel like there could have been some type of either this is an internal fight or all hell from the break loose behind some shit that somebody found which could involve a child someone someone has children with I feel like someone was trying to some of y'all gonna find out that somebody okay I'm hearing perception okay I feel like this could be a new lover or something trying something trying to get off the ground but there is some type of truth that needs to be had or somebody shit, somebody skeleton be, skeletons could be falling out the closet pertaining to someone who could be younger than this person who is stalking them, who they either kind of cut off due to some type of petty ass shit or some type of childish shit in the past. And I definitely feel like this person wants to fix things with you. They want to work on things with you. However, somebody on the outside is kind of stirring the pot and kind of it's like. I feel like somebody manipulating the truth. Kind of how Day Day was on, uh, what was that, All About the Benjamins when he was talking about that fight. He's like, baby, you know, I be, uh, just, uh, that's, that shit, just manip, just crazy. Yeah. Some of you guys want to, um, take a leap of faith, okay, and start something new, possibly with an Aries person. I feel like for some of you all, there's this feeling of, I'm hearing, is it safe? Is it safe? And that's where this internal conflict is coming from. And some of you guys are, um, some of you guys, someone knows that they have to come forward now because they finna miss the boat. Okay. Some of you all, you have the option between possibly a Sagittarius and a water sign. For some of y'all, this could be an Aries. Or just, I see Aries, Sag here strongly. I see Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Strong emphasis on, uh, Cancer and Pisces. And I also see that some of you guys could be fighting with an air sign, so you needed to make a decision on which way you want to move during this time. This could be you or your person. Yeah. For some of you all, some of y'all, Scorpio, could be, um, some of you guys could be experiencing some type of a tire moment. But I feel like this tire moment, for some of y'all, is an actual fucking tire moment. Somebody's on the outside, on the outside of the damn castle coming to shake shit up and stir the pot, okay? And I definitely feel like this new love for some of you all is going to cause somebody else to have a damn tall moment. 
either this person who y'all dealing with has someone else um who may be like other admirers who may like them like who may y'all finna hear all this country like them who likes them this i feel like if this is you making this offer scorpio <clears throat> This is going to come in and shake somebody world the hell up because they don't see it coming. And I feel like this is somebody who you either have history with here. And if this is a new love, you literally have to fully cut off the person who you have history with. Which I feel like is going to start some shit. Okay? I feel like it's going to start some shit. And it's definitely going to ch change the dynamic of something that once was from the past okay for some of you all <clears throat> this is about some of y'all gonna find out that someone had had an outside child possibly while in a relationship with you or during some type of split but i don't feel like this person came in immediately telling you that i feel like some jealous ass person on the outside during this time is trying to cause a towel moment now i do feel like some type of dynamic or some type of family dynamic is going to be coming to a change because even with this towel card here being number 16 i um i bring that to number seven which is seven is about um enlightenment seven is about being enlightened the number seven is about receiving some type of wisdom Mm-hmm. Yeah, for some of you all, there's some type of change to a family dynamic, okay? I definitely feel like some somebody's going to be cutting out some habits, cutting out some ways, making a sacrifice to change for a greater outcome. Someone wants fulfillment. They want comfort, stability around the fulfillment, not just to be happy and shit. Because we could be happy, but anybody got time to be fucking happy sleeping on air mattresses and shit? Let me clarify some stuff, y'all, real quick. We can break this down. Yeah, some of y'all are definitely dealing with this um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all could be seeing blue blue jays during this time. Those blue jays are um, your spirit animal for the mid-month of May. I'm not sure what blue jays mean, but I know that I also see cardinals up in here, too. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the cardinal sign. Aries, Leo, Cancer, uh, Libra. Okay. Why is the Temperance card here with the Two of Cups and the Three of Pentacles here? Some of you guys, whoa, too many. Why is the Temperance here? I'm going to take them because I'm going to take the one that fell. It's, they all falling like, okay, yeah. For some of you all, <clears throat> this could be someone coming in fast fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe this could be you. Moving towards the fire sign. For some of y'all, this could also be another water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see Capricorn towards Virgo here. But I feel like for some of you all, someone could have actually been waiting on you to return. This could be an earth sign. I feel like if you're dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, I feel like this person, the energy is mutual when it comes to both of y'all wanting to work on a relationship. But I feel like there's no major trust. Like the someone feels as if the other one is going to like up and bounce. Like there is no certainty as far as someone having stay power. And I definitely feel like whomever this person is, they're definitely a mirror of you. So I feel like this relationship could have only been in a sexual place in the past. And now someone wants to actually offer something serious. Like they've had some type of realization about the connection. So they want to move forward because somebody's internally conflict. Like somebody, and somebody willing to fight for this shit. Come on now, Scorpio. Why is the King of Cups here with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords? Why the Page of Swords here? Who is stalking, motherfucker? Yeah. For some of you all, you're watching the person to know when it's the right time or someone's watching you. Or some of you guys. Yeah. Some of y'all could also be... Somebody somebody could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's tied to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I feel like this person is definitely somebody who they have kids with. Now, this outside person trying to come in and stir your fucking pot up, this person loves your person, okay? But I definitely feel like either your person could have cut this person off to move forward and start something new with you, or they definitely told their ass, or they telling their ass during this time. Look, I know how we was getting down, like, you know, it was all good a few months ago, bitch, but we can't move like that no more. Lil' baby, lil' baby, we can, lil' baby, 
<laughs> you ain't gonna get me cutting it, baby. Okay. Some of y'all can also, I'm hearing text messages. Some of y'all can also be, um, damn, that's fucked up. I'm gonna say it though. Some of y'all could actually be laying in the bed. I'm hearing in the bed. And I also heard some of you guys could also find a text message. Like a text message could be coming up across somebody's phone during this time. <laughs> That's a fuck though. That didn't happen to me before, y'all. Talk about <laughs> Lil Wayne uproar. Like if that could have been the theme song. The fuck, yo. Where the love go? <laughs> Five, four, three, two. I let one go. Okay, look. That shit could get serious real fast. Why is the King of Cups here with the Ace of Swords? Show me more about this King of Cups. Show me more about this King of Cups. Some of y'all could also be getting communication about regarding a child. For some of you all, yeah, for some of y'all, somebody want to come and tell the truth. I'm tired of shit being stuck. I love you. I love you, motherfucker. I love your ass. <laughs> Five to five ones here. Yeah. Somebody is internally conflicted because they don't know if shit is going to be able to move forward successfully and i feel like the outcome is victory but you gotta whoever this is some of y'all is definitely dealing with a fire sign some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of pisces and you being realistic with yourself and some of you all you're releasing yourself possibly from a situation with the fire sign in order to move forward with the cancer or uh, another scorpio or pisces some of you all yeah some of y'all there's definitely a change in some type of family dynamic Due to someone else moving on, or Scorpio, you moving the fuck on. Or someone actually standing their damn ground and letting somebody know, look, my, look, I understand we have children together, but that's all it's going to be. Boundaries. Somebody don't like these boundaries. Don't believe what the fuck somebody tell you. Do your research and trust your good, okay? Trust that so something told me. Trust something, Scorpio, okay? Why is this Ace of Cups here? Why is this Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here with the food card? Why is the Ace of Cups here with, yeah. I feel like someone is a, yeah, they could be with this internal conflict too. Someone wants to offer someone something new, but I feel like you or this other person may feel as if it's not safe to take a, it's not safe to take a, it's not safe to take a leap moving forward and make this offer towards some type of solid family structure. Because maybe somebody is going to have to change the way they do shit. Like, people can't have as much cake. Like, you got to cut all your cake off. You know, or somebody feels as if or you or this other person may feel as if someone else has a lot of options. Why's the tower here? Why's the tower here? Yeah. Yeah, for some of you all, there's a fear. Some of y'all, there's a fear. Or some of you guys are pushing through this damn fear of being rejected. Some of you guys are afraid to make this offer or someone's afraid to make this offer to you because someone can have a, have a hard damn time walking away from what happened in the past. Or someone feels as if they don't want to be held accountable for the past. There's also this feeling of, are you holding a grudge with me, motherfucker? Like, there's a feeling like that. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the, whoa, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, okay. So, you know what? I was clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, but the fact this motherfucker jumped and fell right up on this damn Five of Cups <laughs> and with the Tower, let's talk about it, okay? So, I feel like, okay, and again, it goes to that boundaries. There were there are boundaries being set. Fuck what we was doing in the past, okay? Fuck what was going on in the past. I don't want to go to this place of the past. I definitely feel like Someone is either someone had a reality check and kind of actually had the time to be in their world of solitude to actually see how they did another person or have some type of perspective shift or get some type of info. Somebody had a somebody gained a new perspective perspective on looking at things. I definitely feel like for some of you all, yeah, this could be a tower moment. Regarding some type of information, clear cut information. Okay, that's coming regarding someone from the past, from your past, baby, or, or around your past. And I definitely feel like for some of you all, 
there's a fear that you won't be able to make this take this leap of faith towards your ace of cups with this food card because of someone's past the spirit is saying this person needs to set up clear boundaries in order for things to move forward that is the change whom this king of wands okay because some of y'all are definitely dealing with a fire sign some of y'all i feel like if you're dealing with let me break the elements down okay see we already 30 minutes but y'all know how to get down because i want to get all type of clarity and i like to hit every situation that I can, okay? For some of you all, you're changing the way that you do things normally, okay? I feel like there's a change in someone not being open, someone not being expressive, someone, someone not telling another person how they feel because how the motherfucker feel is this. I want to hold on to this shit. I'm passionate about this shit. This family life is life, okay? Definitely feel like for some of you all, you could be dealing with, if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel like especially if you have some type of family with this person, some of y'all could also be finding out that someone is being trying to be controlling or someone's trying to control holding on to a situation either due to financial assets or financial ties or someone trying, someone is trying to control Control someone's path forward with children. That's fucked up. You're using the kids to manipulate a situation. No judging, but that is fucked up. You watch my soul. You my soul family. You do that shit. That's whack. It's whack as fuck. Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here with the King of Wands? Yeah. 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 Somebody is making a decision, okay, to either... Some of y'all are making a decision to possibly cut off, okay, make a judgment around the family situation. Because I got the king and queen of one, so I'm a king and queen of swords here, clarifying. So I definitely feel like for some of you all, there was a situation that could have been trying to be resurrected, but I feel I'm hearing external. So for some of y'all, this could be the person who you're trying to make the offer to or the person that's coming in to make the offer to you. This person, if they haven't already done it. During this time, this person will be making a decision to either resurrect or cut off a family situation to make an offer towards you. And I definitely feel for some of y'all, they're going to move towards you. For some of you all, you getting this truth and clarity to victoriously move forward beyond this person because this motherfucker like Kate. And even though he is your ace of he or she is your ace of cups, a relationship ain't a one way street. And that's a free will choice. So some of you guys, um, or, or making a judgment call to be upright, straightforward, speak your truth. Some of you guys have to cut off a situation from your past, okay, due to some type of family structure. So there could be a baby that's coming out the woodworks. And I feel like for some of y'all, this baby is by an earth sign. Unfortunately, if you find out an earth sign is pregnant by your partner <clears throat> or you're the cross watching earth sign. There is some type of control around this situation. And I feel like somebody, and I hate to say this, but it looked like somebody could be trying to be, get, should, could have tried to get pregnant to hold on to somebody financially or to have a damn way, like, so the door wouldn't continue, so the door wouldn't completely close. The motherfucking window can be open, okay? But I definitely feel like there is a cycle ending. There's one cycle ending. That I feel like is from the past. Okay, so some of y'all could be ending a cycle, possibly with the Libra, with an Aries. And for some of you all, <clears throat> some of you guys are really tired of something. You just like, I don't, I, I love this shit, but I'm really still fucking tired. Some of y'all also have a queen, a queen of cups. Or some of y'all, I mean, some of y'all could have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I thought this person has put in a lot of work in this relationship to finally get this shit. Because it's a lot of resistance and fights over here. Like fighting, internal fighting, self-esteem shit, past shit, holding on shit. But I feel like this is you, Scorpio. Now I'm ready to give my cup, move forward. And I feel like someone's move forward is going to piss somebody off during this time. But it's okay. Because I feel like there was a situation where someone was juggling. 
Someone gonna make a judgment to stop the juggle. Somebody getting cut off during this time, stuff, y'all. All right. So y'all let me know how that resonates. All right. Um, if you need a person, y'all hit me up. The information will be in the description. I love you all. Long time. Peace and blessings, y'all. Namaste. Bye, babies.